So we come to the fourth move of this nine form sequence. Um, this is added on to the eight brocades or the moves from the eight brocades in a Pilates yogic hypnotic manner. Um, the eight brocades at the beginning and 18 form Qigong sequence and this nine form, three forms stuck together. Um, so basically that's 35 moves. This is like the 30th move of the whole 35. Um, yeah, the last form is nine, nine moves together and this is like the fourth one of that. Doesn't really matter, I've put it in brackets, um, the actual like number 35 and what number this is in brackets next to it. So you can either do these segmentally or not, it doesn't matter. You do these in sequence, I'll put them in or not. It's just three forms slung together um, in a sort of hypnotic Pilates yogic manner with the breath. Uh, we're not going to traditional breath, like breathing in the belly like the balloon in a normal Qigong, Qigong sequences. We're gonna go into the hypnotic breath. But um, each one is sort of linked to organs, etc., or electromagnetic rivers, uh, nadis, what you're gonna call them. And this one is believed to have the pericardium, as most are, or that that's the meridian, or the organ, the heart, the heart line in the pericardium, it benefits. And in Chinese medicine, they believe to help the eyes, where it's going past your eyes. Um, there's a lot of sort of medical benefits from each individual move within the sequences. Um, we're going down more, we're getting the movement and we're just, we're going down the yogic path, the Pilates path and the hypnotic path with it. So with that, we're gonna zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, take the navel towards the spine and we go down that Pilates path with the breathing right now. The moves cloud hands by the way but we're gonna come back to that in a minute. But as we're zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals right now, we're gonna breathe in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips for as long as you like, okay? Now, as you do that, that's gonna help you breathe into these lower lobes of the lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. It's what we call lateral thoracic breathing, okay? Helps you breathe low and deep into these fish gills, okay? Anywhere but the stomach, because there's nowhere else for the breath to go, apart from into these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach, okay? And that's gonna help us use our pelvic floor and our corset muscle, our powerhouse, our girdle of strength, three layers deep, the transverse abdominus in the most efficient manner, helping us breathe anywhere but the belly button, helping us breathe low and deep, into these fish gills, 3D style, organ deep, sow deep, even bone marrow deep. Right now, as you do that, you'll feel that as you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, keep breathing in out in through the nose and exhaling through pursed lips. So you've sort of blown out a candle through pursed lips. And that's what we call lateral thoracic breathing in Pilates. Okay. That helps us breathe in a most efficient manner so we can use that corset muscle, the powerhouse, the girdle of strength, three layers deep, the transverse abdominus in the most efficient manner, helping us breathe anywhere but the belly button. So as you do that right now, follow the journey all the way in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips. And then we're gonna go slightly down the yogic path with that as we close the mouth and breathing in and out through the nose, as we're still zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out the abdominals, taking the navel towards the spine. And that'll add a smaller filter to the breath, lengthens the, lengthens the whole wheel cycle of the breath through that smaller filter through the nose. Okay, so as you do that, that'll lengthen the whole wheel cycle of the breath. As you're doing that now, you'll feel that happen. But also, as we go down that yogic path of the breath, that's more similar to Ashtanga yoga. There's many different styles of yogas and breaths, but similar-ish at the moment. 
as you go down that path with the breath, zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out abdominals, instead of the Pilates breath, or unlike the Pilates breath, which breathes out through the mouth, we're gonna breathe in and out through the nose. And that smaller filter as you do that route right now will lengthen the whole will cycle the breath, especially the out breath. We want to fall longer than the in breath. So simply allow that to happen right now. Allow that out breath to fall longer than the in breath. And as you do that right now, consciously take your mind to that out breath. Rather than the breath breathe us, we're going to breathe the breath. We're going to consciously take our mind to that out breath and elongate that out breath. Quadruple it, double it, triple it, whatever you like the out breath. Just make it longer than the in-breath. Okay, the in-breath's conscious thought, the out-breath is subconscious thought. So by extending the out-breath longer than the in-breath, we go down that hypnotic path of length and that out-breath longer than the in-breath. Okay, the in-breath's conscious thought, the out-breath is subconscious thought. So as you do that right now, it's gonna help all the things you don't think about, sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation will be benefited by lengthening that out breath longer than the in breath, encouraging them restful relaxation responses and endless streams of comfort in the nerve system. All the things you don't think about, the parasympathetic nervous system is being benefited. All the things you don't think about, the housekeeping properties of the body are being benefited cellular communication, organ function, etc. Sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation. Okay, that health and renewal, and that natural state of well-being, all being benefited by elongating the out-breath, longer than the in-breath. Simply allow that simplicity just to relax the mind, of elongating the out breath, longer than the in breath, encouraging that chemical cascade of relaxation all on the out breath. Lovely, so with that, if you can stick to that breathing, that's more than adequate. If you wanna take it onto slightly more advanced yogic breath, ujjayi breath, Okay, then you can do that. If you can't get that, don't worry. Carry on breathing into these lower lobes of lungs. Okay, this will just give the mind something to focus on. Okay, but again, otherwise, if you can't get this, just keep on being aware of the sound of the breath, the feel of the breath, it weaves that tapestry of relaxation and every single organ, cell, sinew of the body. So as we go with that now, keep on zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals as you were and still are. Okay. and still breathing it out through the nose while elongating the out-breath longer than the in-breath. Now, if you want to take on a little bit further, if you can't get it, get it, don't worry, just carry on breathing with us. It's going to be like this, Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. You breathe in, it's like a... As you grip at your esophagus and keep your shoulders down so they want to come up and exhale, it's like a... with a mouth shut. So you're breathing through the nose. As you grip at the esophagus and exhale, narrow the esophagus and exhale. With a mouth shut, it's like a sign, silky, in, silky even, whistling breath, ujjayi breath, victorious breath. If you can't get that, don't worry. Just carry on breathing into these lower lobes of the lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Now as you do that, you'll feel the whole breath cycle lengthen once more again. Okay, especially that out breath we're lengthening though. And also that give your mind something to focus on. It's what you call focusing breath. Okay, it's like when you want to focus on a fine motor skill, you do this naturally in everyday life. We're overemphasizing that sign breath. Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. If you can't get that, don't worry, just carry on as you are. Lovely. 
that helps us stimulate the thymus gland, the thyroid gland actually, I always do that, the thyroid glands, a different gland, which helps us with weight control, etc. Also help us build the heat in the body, help us fan the fire, develop all the toxins in the body. Otherwise, carry on breathing as you are. Okay, lovely. So let's link that to the motion. So again, we're going to bring the Iyengar Yoga principles in with it. Again, you can do this in a squat or just up high, down in a squat. I wouldn't, I would stick with the yoga. So we're going to move that. The yoga Iyengar or Iyengar Yoga principles of alignment. Don't get the knees, let the knees go past the toes. Okay, deep or not, optional to you. Zip up pelvic bra, scoop out your abdominals, length out for the crown. Shoulders over hips, head over shoulders. So again, the hands are going to pass clockwise and anti-clockwise. It's going to come a bit nearer. So here, top hand, okay, faces down. Bottom hand faces up. And then we switch from side to side. Here, top hand faces down. Top hand, bottom hand faces up. Then they change. We've got a skewer for our head, and we're turning off that skewer. Now, we're gonna, we're, as we do this, we're going to breathe in and exhale. Wibu, dry breath or not. I'm going to do it without the start of it. Or with ujjayi breath. We're breathing in through the nose, and we're exhaling. Breathing for the nose and exhaling for as long as you like, keeping attention at the shoulders because the shoulders want to come in. I'm going to go back and bring the legs in. Breathing in. If you go deeper, go deeper. Otherwise, stay up high. Only go as deep as you like to relax and let go with that alignment. Don't get the lead and let the knees go past the toes. Breathing in through the nose and exhaling for as long as you like with that out breath and simply starting again as if you're sort of turning off a skewer from side to side and then just simply start again. Imagine that trickle of water just running down the back and dispersing, mounting the shoulders over hips, head over shoulders, breathing through the nose and exhaling. And as you do that, see the silhouette of the hand pass past the eye line, trance light coming to the here and now, the present moment of the breath, the motion, the movement. Just get lost in the breath, the motion, the movement as you lengthen up from the crown, as if you've got that puppet string, that hook, that brace on your head, bring your head up towards the ceiling. Lovely. With ujjayi breath or not, breathing through the nose, and exhaling. Lovely. So that was cloud hands. Got the lotus leg kick. Or the, yeah, the lotus leg kick or the lotus kick next. Um, yeah, so the next one's a lotus leg kick. That was cloud hands. Nice trancey one. Just watch these shoulders. Remember, all overactive in these upper traps, they will want to come in. So really focus on keeping them down. Lovely. Bang.